into all right about to jump into round one of our magic origins draft let's see how things go i'm not super confident about this deck i kind of overlooked getting in as many two drops and three drops as we probably needed but we do have disperses and void mages to sort of help us get back ahead um and we have lots of good four drops at least um hmm. we're on the draw no white in our earliest plays on turn three, assuming we can draw mana for it. I think I keep. Um, we're on the draw, so I think this is fine. I think we've got a few chances to hit in a plains or an island, and so hopefully we do that. All right, we have a two drop now, so that makes things a little better. Hopefully he doesn't mill our lands. Looks like it's... Pretty important for us to have a two drop though, as it usually is in this format. Come on, planes. Not a planes, um, and I think we gotta play the scob and hope it doesn't mill lands. <laughs> Please don't hit lands. It didn't. It hit another two drop. Okay, so maybe it'll help us hit some more lands. I probably just trade here with Cleric of the Forward Order. I don't see a reason to do anything else. Um, yeah, I think we just... Yeah, I'll just take it, actually. Yeah. I can trade with a creature with Renown or something with my Scob if I want to. So... Stalwart Aven. Now, it'd be nice for us to hit the mana so that we can play our own Stalwart Aven now. There we go. But we can't play our Stalwart Aven, <laughs> unfortunately for us. Um... We will play our Scrapskin Drake, though. Yeah, we really need a Plains. We do have fewer Plains in our deck. But if we hit another land, we will have Aspiring Aeronaut. Uh, and we'll have a pretty formidable Air Force. Ooh, Arosa's champion. That's ugly. Yeah, he's a scary dude. Does he know? Oh, I guess he didn't read my Scrapskin Drake, who actually can't block the stalwart. Uh, but I'm okay with that, I guess. Ugh. All right, all we can do is go Water Courser. And end our turn. Yeah, this Aroas' champion is going to dismantle us pretty quickly. And it's really dangerous to take damage. Like, Titan Strength will make him hit us for 10, things like that. So, yeah, our opponent's got a very aggressive deck, um, which is good. I haven't actually drafted the Red-White Archetype yet. Um, it looks like a pretty straightforward, fun deck, though. Aroas' champion at its center. Okay, I'm... Okay with him not attacking there. I guess I could double block his Aros champion, and he doesn't want that. All right, Disperse is pretty nice. That lets us play around a trick. Um, it's not an awful draw. I mean, Planes would have been an ideal draw, but it's not an awful one. So we're just going to continue things as they are. Oh, hopefully he keeps not reading our Scrapskin Drake, I guess, <laughs> since he could just be attacking us in the air pretty hard right now. Um, Prickle Boar. Perhaps. No, Boggart Brute. Okay. Well, he is a nuisance. All right, he's swinging with his cleric. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. All right, we are going to disperse this guy. He played this in his first main phase, so he can't actually recast it. Um, so we're just going to go... Disperse. The chances are he has a Titan Strength, and that's what he wants to use to save one of his guys. Um, but he actually... Uh, yeah, so if I block here and here, he actually can't save his guy, and we'll get a two-for-one because we can pump our Water Courser big enough to kill a Titan Strength creature, um, and this will just be a trade. Uh, we do take one in the air. So let's see if he tries... Decides to, you know, he didn't. 
So that worked out pretty well for us on the whole. Uh, he may have something to finish off our water courser, but that's still a decent two for one. Although if we don't draw creatures soon, uh, you know, even getting those value plays isn't going to matter. If we don't draw mana, I mean, okay, well, we got a way to turn, but we'll have it. Um, might as well attack with our Drake. He can't block the dude, uh, so we're going to take five this turn at least. Just going to feel really good. Uh, yeah, we'll just end our turn. Still has Aroas' champion in his hand. There he is. I'm guessing he attacks with both. Since I can't block either of them, and I go to at least 12. Blessed Spirits, too, huh? Alright, we take five. We'll sacrifice Revolving Wilds for a Plains. And we drew another island. So we can play a Ring Warden Owl now, um, which isn't bad. But I can also play Aspiring Aeronaut. Hmm. Do we want to play the Owl? The Owl can block this or this and kill them, and that's pretty big. Um, none of our other cards can, so I think I think we play the Owl. Should have swung with my Drake first. Um, I kind of have to. I mean, there's no reason not to, so. Actually, it can block. Actually, I was saying my opponent wasn't reading Scrapskin Drake. I clearly am the one who's not reading Scrapskin Drake because now I recall that it's actually can only block creatures with flying. I was thinking couldn't block creatures with flying. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. My opponent's the smart one here. <laughs> okay, well, he's down to one card, so if we can get things turned around, and he's going to play that one card, too. Charging Griffin. Okay, well, we got a lot of flyers, too. But this Aroas' champion is just so beefy. Okay. I think if I double block the Aroas' champion, I think that's going to put me in the best shape. He can't kill either of them uh, with one shot. And then only one of them will die and will take five. And will kill his champion. His hand's empty, so his champion's dead no matter what. I'm guessing he kills the Owl. Yeah, he's killing the owl. But getting rid of that guy is pretty big. He can just do so much damage to us. And if I stop attacking with my Scrapskin Drake like an idiot, as I have been so far, um, <laughs> I can block his Stalwart Aven, and, which should have been what I've been doing all along. But hey, I'm aggressive, I guess. So that'll take down the champion and leave him... So, he actually let our owl survive. I don't think he meant to do that. I'm pretty happy with that, though. All right, we did need another land. Um, but it would have been nice if it were a white one. <laughs> so he could play the Avon and the other dude. Um, so we're just going to go Aspiring Aeronaut, which can help buy us some more time. Gets us a couple bodies out there and end our turn. He is out of cards, and that's good news. Um, blocking his menace guy is our biggest problem right now, I'd say. Um, yeah. I think I got a double block here, too. Um, I'll block with these two. I'd rather hold on to these two guys because so we'll just double block with those hope he doesn't have titan strength doesn't look like he does all right
Okay. So now we have claustrophobia, which is pretty great right now. I um, wonder if he has auras to pump up his spirits. I kind of want to tap down the spirits. Um, yeah. I think we go claustrophobia, the spirits, which also triggers prowess. He's probably got auras, so that thing's going to get to be more of a problem, I would guess. Um, and now, um, if he wants to trade one of his flyers for my ring ward now, I'm okay with that. I don't think he will. He's at 22, so, <laughs> yeah. But now we'll play our own Stalwart Aven, and it can block... Um, pretty well. It can't block the charging griffin, I guess. So that may have been a mistake, but I'll take three from the griffin if I have to. No, he's on the defensive now. I don't know what he's drawing, though, that he's just keeping it in his hands. It's a little scary. All right, Amperin Tactician's an interesting draw. I think we play the knight first, and then the Amperin Tactician, perhaps, next turn. Um, that way we can pump both of these up with our Tactician and Swing for more. It's the only ground creature on the table right now. My opponent, even though he's not in the blue-white flyers deck, did take a lot of the good flyers from us. I don't think we got any charging griffins. Be nice to draw our hanger back walker right now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he'd just be a three, three, I guess. We'd want him to at least be a four, four, so he could just crash through his board, but. We could make him one with Amprin Tactician. Okay. It means he probably has a trick. Um, So I'm going to block here. They don't kill each other. Um, although I could double block there and take him out. Although if he has titanic strength, that's probably not worth it. And he's been holding cards in his hand for a while, so it seems likely. Um, yeah, I guess I'd rather do this. It's either a trade or... Um, yeah. It's either a trade or, or a one-for-one, one, although not a great one-for-one one, because it would be nice to keep our guy. I wish we had something to give him prowess right now, but we don't, so. Yeah, and Shrouding Mist, okay. That's pretty bad for us. Um, it's interesting he chose to save that guy. Where's our Patron of the Valiant? One of our two Patrons of the Valiant would be nice. Certainly. Okay, we're going to play Amprin Tactician, pump him up and swing with him. We'll leave our Stalwart Aven back, though. This has definitely been an interesting game. <laughs> he was really hurting us in the early game, but suddenly we've got new life. He may have removal or another trick to deal with our dude, um, but he's just going to take four, which makes our guy big enough now on his own to swing through a stalwart haven, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to keep this card in my hand as a bluff. I think we've gotten almost all of our white cards except our Patron of the Valiant in this game. If he swings, we block. Um, I'm okay with that as a trade, although it does mean we don't have a blocker anymore in the air, but there's not much else I can do about that. Uh, so, Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. That gets us. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That is nice. 
Let's swing with both of these. He may have another Celestial Flare, and I'd rather sacrifice the Tactician at this point. All right, so we go Separatist Void Mage. Bounce this guy back to his hand. And end our turn. It's pretty big, pretty big play there. We're now tied at life, so... We have managed to mostly turn things around, but our opponent still has two cards, three cards in his hand even. Some of it may be bluffing, I guess, but... All right. That can trade with both of these guys and gain them life in the process. Okay, Disperse is pretty nice. Um, I think we just swing with both of them. I'm fine trading. Um... Yeah. So he goes to... He stays at 7 is what happens, basically. And we lose our guy. Hold on to this island some more. Um, and I'll probably disperse something on his turn. We'll take one here. Okay, he doesn't have anything else, it looks like. I wonder if he has a Celestial Flare. Something else I could do is disperse my own Separatist Void Mage uh, and bounce his guy again. But it seems kind of like a roundabout way to just disperse it. So <laughs> if he uses targeted removal, I might do that. Uh, okay, so that puts him at two. We'll play out of land. Um, I wonder if he has Lightning Javelin and that's his whole plan. I think, be well, no, he'd have to have uh, Exquisite Firecraft. I think because of that, we have to disperse the Avon, like, no matter what this turn. Just because it's a little too dangerous. Okay, he's doing something else first. All right. He could still play a Firecraft if he has one, so... It's not exactly what we want to see. Interesting. Okay. Well, the end of his turn will bounce the Stalwart Aven. All right. So we go Disperse. Wow. So that's lethal unless he can stop us. Okay, he scooped. Wow, we really turned that one around. Looked pretty grim early, but... We managed to turn it around late, make the game last a long time. Um, what do we have? I mean, we have Stratus Walk, which might be worth bringing in because he has a lot of flyers too, and we could make like our Hangerback Walker, our Void Mages, our, wa our Water Courser, uh, our Knight, and things like that fly, and that's not too bad. And it draws, it cycles itself in a worst case scenario, and that's not too bad. So I think I may bring that in. Um, and maybe cut one Aeronaut. I mean, he has so many Flyers in his deck that the Aeronaut's not nearly as good as it usually is. I mean, his Flyers are mostly bigger than what the Aeronaut can can throw out there, so I think that's right. Um, yeah. Hydro Lash also isn't bad against him. But I don't think we want it. I think I'm ha satisfied with Stratus Walk. Um... Yeah. Let's run this back out there for game two. Okay, this time we have all white and no blue. <laughs> We're going to have to mulligan this one just because all of our cards are blue. Okay, we do have a turn two hanger back walker, and hopefully we draw into some lands, including double planes. Uh, that's what we got to hope for, I guess. The hanger back walker is pretty great, though. Um, two drop. All 
Well, we can Stratus walk our Hangerback Walker. That's about all we can do. It can potentially draw us another um, card, though. But chances are, like, if I don't draw a land here, I'll, I would probably rather just make our Hangerback Walker bigger. Opter Engineer, huh? That's bad news. I'm just going to take three here. No, just one. That's fine, too. I guess he doesn't want my hanger back to die and make more dudes. Okay. Um, question here is whether I, it's better. I, I don't think it is. I think we hold on to Stratus Walk for now. We started slow land-wise last time and managed to win, so maybe we can do it again. Ooh, that's going to make things hard. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do here, I think, yeah, it is what I'm going to do. Just because we have so much, so much pain coming our way. I think I block, then use the Hangerback Walker's activated ability to make it a 2-2, kill the Cleric, and get 2-1-1 Thopters. So it's a 2-2 two -two now. So it'll kill the Cleric and give us two Thopters. We take two this turn, but we do have two blockers that can kill the that guy if we need them to. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, good old Scrapskin Drake's here again, and this time I'll actually remember what he does correctly. Um, I guess in the turn... Right, Avon. I'm lucky I won that other game as dumb as I was about Scrapskin Drake. Um, I think I give up both Thopters now to take this guy down. Um, so our Hangerback Walker killed two cards, basically, and that's a pretty good deal. I mean, it would have been nice to get him later in the game, but if it weren't for him early, we would have been in even more trouble. So it would be nice to draw the land for Separatist Void Mage right now. We did it. So I think we go Separatist Void Mage and bounce the Stalwart Aven. We could also bounce the Thopter token, but I'm not all that concerned about it since we can just block it all day. Um, yeah, we just hang back. Okay, Automaton. So, he has haste. That means he's going to hit us for three right now. Not so good. Might have to suppression bonds that guy just because of the board state. That's pretty great. Um, yeah, I'm going to use suppression bonds right here. Play Evolving Wilds. And then next turn we can play our Patron of the Valiant after we search for our planes. Just keep hanging back. Stalwart Aven again. Alright. Fine by me. As is that. Since we're about to play Patron of the Valiant, who can just block that all day? This has pretty, been a pretty long match for this format. <laughs> We're only in game two as well, so if I don't win this one, there's a lot more. But I do have two Patrons of the Valiant in my hand, which is pretty great. We didn't see a whole lot of removal out of our opponent in game one. We did see combat tricks, though. All right, so we're going to sack our Evolving Wilds. If only our Hangerback Walker had lived to see this day. Another Void Mage. 
think for now I just play the patron. We don't have anything for it to improve. Um, can't block anyone on the ground, but you just block anyway, so all right. I may just put my Stratus walk on my Scrap Skin Drake since it's already got the setback and I could use a card draw. I could draw, I'd be happy to draw a card. All right. Adrian Bully tax. Um, God, if he has that white spell, it's going to be bad. But we do have another patron, and I think we force him to play it now. That still only nets him a trade unless he has something else, and I think I'm okay with that because it's a two. For, it's actually a two for one, not a trade. Although he does get to smooth out his draw. We could use another spell, I guess, but it seems like he would have just used it first because it would have killed my guy and kept his alive. All right. So no more Patron of the Valiant for us. The Ring Warden Owl is pretty good. Um, I think we just play out another Patron, much to the chagrin of our opponent. And then when he plays like something big, we can just void mage it back to his hand. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, grow. That is that is bad. Um, but it's, we still have a block. Um, even if he swings with it now, we still have a block. I'm sure he taps my patron. And if we force him to use another combat trick here, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> All right. Especially because we can void mage that thing back to his hand. Um... All right. So he didn't really accomplish anything, it looks like. What's he playing now? Swift Reckoning. That's interesting. Well done, sir. That does, in fact, make me sad. Claustrophobia. Hmm. I think I just play the Ring Ward now. That way I can get more value out of the Stratus Walk and Claustrophobia later. It can block this. I mean, he's going to tap it, but then this can block it. So we just keep going. We'll probably Void Mage that eventually. i probably just take two now, to be honest. Although we may want to Void Mage whatever that is. Well, we have Claustrophobia, so that's actually what we'll use on that. I don't know why he would attack now. Yeah, you don't. you don't want to. Won't accomplish you any. Won't accomplish anything for you. Okay. So I think we want a claustrophobia. The prickle bore makes our guy four four. But I don't think we have. I don't think we're going to be able to swing with it. Um. Yeah, I think we just pass. It's not, it's not real safe. Maybe Stratus Walk wasn't the best idea because we don't really have any great targets in our deck. I mean, the Separatist Void Mage is nice, but since I also have Scrap Skin Drake who can only block flyers right now, I don't want to make another creature like that. Okay. Well. I think I'm going to play Stratus Walk. And then I'm going to Separatist Void Mage's Flyer. And I'm going to put the Stratus Walk on... Probably just on our Scrapskin Drake, to be honest. 
I want to be able to block on the ground. Uh, we know he has a Roas' champion and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put it on the Drake. So it triggers Prowess. So this time we will be swinging with our uh, Big Owl. Let's see what we draw. That's a pretty nice draw. Um, I think we still play the Void Mage for now, though. Yeah. But uh, first we swing with our Big Owl. Celestial Flare, no. Takes him to 18. And then we play... We have White untapped, so maybe we make him think we have Enshrouding Mist. We'll play our Void Mage, and we'll bounce the Aven, which will get rid of that Grasp. I suppose I could have done that first and just left back my Separatist Void Mage and swung for uh, two more than I did, but that's okay. All right, so that probably means he's got a trick. Um, I'm just going to take the one. Well, actually, I think I'm just going to take both of those. Just let it happen. Because now we can swing with both our Void Mages back at him. Um, wow, another Void Mage. We do have three of them. All right, so we swing with everybody. Um, attack with all creatures. He doesn't have any good blocks. He may have a Celestial Flare or something. All right. So we take seven. Ah. Yeah, maybe we should have separate his Void Mage first. Okay, well, we're going to play... I mean, I guess I could hold on to the Void Mage, to be honest, and wait to use it against something a little scarier. Or it after it gets uh, Renown. Yeah, we'll hold on to the Void Mage for now. Dropped our opponent to 11. No, oh, no, what did he draw? Charging Griffin. Well, now we probably need to bounce that instead. I wonder if he swings with both his flyers here. He does. So we take it. And we will bounce the Griffin so that we can get Renown. Although he can actually block with his Thopter Engineer if he wants. Okay, so we go Separatist Void Mage. Turn his Charging Griffin to his hand. And now, how much do we take on the Crackback? Four? Yeah. We should swing with everybody again. Alright, he's not willing to trade. But he drops to three. We have a Renowned Guy, and we've got a big Flyer. So I'll hold on to this card in our hand. Charging Griffin comes back out. Okay. I think he's doing with all my flyers and then play Aspiring Aeronaut. Yeah. So, oh, and that guy. He's not a flyer, but he has good attacks. Um, yeah. He can't take, well, he can take the Scrapskin Drake, I guess, and be okay. All right. Yeah, use your Thopter token if you just want to chump. Yeah. 
There you go. So he drops. Wait, you're going to take lethal unless you do something. Three here. Yeah, I don't I guess he made a mistake there, but we were in pretty good shape. Three Separatist Void Mages is pretty hard to overcome. Um, so yeah, that was round one. It was a little longer than most rounds in this uh, format, but that does happen. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you for round two, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.